Hi guys, it's Charlie here. I hope you're all well and doing good. Today I am back to do my October book haul and it's, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that there is, I have a lot of books to show in this book haul. I think there's about 26 or 27 of them. There would have been more, um, but a couple that I'm waiting for haven't turned up yet and I didn't want to wait any longer. Um, so I want to get into this book haul quite quickly, but before I do, there are a couple of things that I just want to let you guys know. So the first thing is that I have finally had my new dates through for my dental work. Um, so it's all going to start on the 10th of November, which is not next Friday, the Friday after. And I have to go in pretty much once a week for about five weeks to get everything done that I need to do. Um, and it goes without saying that during that time, I won't be about on YouTube much. Well, I mean, I say that, but in the couple of weeks leading up to it, I'm going to try and pre-record some videos so that you guys have something to watch while I'm um, away. Because I really want to do some little wrap-ups and things and just talk about the stuff that I've read recently because I don't feel like I've done that for a really long time. Um, so I'm going to try and do that so that you've got some kind of content. Um, but there won't be anything that isn't pre-recorded, if you know what I mean. I won't be filming... Well, I pretty much won't be filming at all in November. Um, I just want to focus on this because it's going to be, you know, hard enough. The thing that I want to let you guys know is that a couple of videos ago, obviously, I spoke about my channel and about how I wasn't sure where to take it from here and what sort of things to do and how I wanted to try different stuff. And you guys gave me some really amazing suggestions. So... I have made a decision that next year I'm going to introduce two new things to my channel. The first thing is going to be true crime because you guys know that I'm a big fan of true crime documentaries and all sorts of things like that. I love it. I'm just so intrigued by it. So I'm going to be starting a new series which is going to revolve around unexplained disappearances. True life unexplained disappearances um, because I'm so fascinated as well with people going missing and how people can just go missing and not be found so I'm going to be doing that I don't know how well it will go but you know you have to try these things um, and the other thing that I'm going to be trying and I know this is going to be hit and miss because I know it isn't everybody's kind of thing but I'm going to be trying some ASMR um, I'm planning on getting a um, binaural microphone for Christmas ASMR is something I've watched for a really long time and it's always been something that I've wanted to give a go to but because I know it isn't everybody's thing I've kind of just put it off um, but in the spirit of trying new things that is what I want to do so I'm going to kind of do some little sort of um, whispering kind of story time uh, videos where I read sort of short stories and stories that I have written and hopefully because I know from talking with some of you that you suffer with anxiety like me so I am yeah I'm really hoping it will be helpful to you guys as well like it is with my anxiety so I'm really excited to try those things they'll be coming I'm going to start doing them early next year um, once all of this stuff is um out of the way so yeah i just wanted to um let you guys know those couple of things first and now i'm going to get into the book haul i'm going to start with review copies and a couple of books that i won in giveaways then i'm going to do graphic novels and manga and then i'm going to do all of the books that i have bought in the last month so without further ado let's get on with the book haul okay so the first couple of books I won in a giveaway on Facebook that was being held by my friend on her um, horror group that she has on there. I'll put the link to it down below. Um, and as soon as I saw these books, I just had to enter this giveaway. But I never win anything, so I was so, so surprised when I did. And these are Ghost House and Ghost House Revenge by Claire McNally. They have really fantastic covers. I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about them, but I think they are just like a good old fashioned haunted house type of story, which is just perfect for this type of year. Haunted house stories are my favorite kind of horror stories to read. So I'm so, so excited that I won these and I cannot wait to delve into them. The next two books were sent to me from Faber and Faber. Um, and they are two thrillers, which you guys know is my jam. So I'm very excited for these. Um, the first one is Peter Swanson's All the Beautiful Lies. Um, 
Peter Swanson is the author of The Kind Worth Killing, Her Every Fear and The Girl With A Clock For A Heart. I have read The Kind Worth Killing and I really enjoyed it. Um, and this one is his, well, it will be his latest release. It comes out in April next year, so it's kind of a long wait for it. But I'm very excited to say I will be doing a giveaway for a copy of this very soon over on my Facebook page, which I'll put the link to down below. Um, I actually, I don't know anything about it, if I'm honest. I didn't, re I requested the other one that they sent me, and then they just very kindly put this one in the package as well. Um, but it is another thriller. As I said, they're both thrillers. Um, on the back, it says, On the eve of his college graduation, Harry is called home by his stepmother, Alice, to the house on the main coast following the unexpected death of his father. Um... But who really is Alice, his father's much younger second wife? In a brilliant split narrative, Peter Swanson teases out the stories and damage that lie in her past. And as her story entwines with Harry's in the present, things grow increasingly dark and threatening. Will Harry be able to see any of it clearly through his own confused thoughts? So it sounds really good. I love thrillers like this. Um, and if it's half as good as A Kind Worth Killing, then I know it's going to be brilliant. Um, and then the one that I requested from them is um, Lullaby by Layla Slimani. Um, this, I think this was originally, yeah, it was originally French and they recently just translated it. Um, this comes out in January. Um, and from what I've kind of heard going around about it, because it doesn't really give you too much of a synopsis, um, it's about a nanny who murders the children that she is supposed to be looking after, I think, something like that. And I think we start at the end of the story and then we go back and find out what happened to get to that point. So um, I think this sounds really good and it's super short, so it's going to be quite a quick read. And again, I really love thrillers like this, the kind of... Um, uh, the hand that rocked the cradle type of thing. I love stuff like that. So I'm really excited for this one. I really like this cover as well. It's very sort of simple. And um, on the front, the tagline says, the baby is dead. It took only a few seconds. And I think if that doesn't make you want to read more, I don't know what will. And then the last book I received for review is really exciting because it's one of my most anticipated reads of next year. And I was lucky enough to be sent this copy from all the way in the US, which is um, extremely unusual um, because often um, ARCs aren't allowed to be sent into different countries. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that is, I just know that's kind of like a rule. Um, but I just decided on a whim to um, send a message to HarperCollins, that's who this is from, um, and just request it, not really expecting much. And they were kind enough to send me a copy. And I, I, it took a little while to come because it was coming from the US. Um, but, and at one point I did think it had got lost somewhere. But I just, I can't believe that I have it in my hands already when it doesn't come out until January. I'm so excited to read it. And this is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. So Maureen Johnson is the author of the Shades of London trilogy. It is a trilogy, isn't it? Um, and I read... The first book in that series, which was... Oh my god, what was the first book in that series called? Um, gosh, I can't remember what the name of that... I can't remember what it was called. I'll put the name down here so you can see it. Um, and I really enjoyed that. Fortunately, I didn't really like the other books in that series. But this one came to my attention a few months ago. And I just think it sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, so it is a kind of murder mystery puzzle kind of mystery. I'm going to read you the back because that explains it better than I could. So it says... Ellingham Academy is the famous private school in Vermont for the brightest thinkers, inventors and artists. It was founded in 1936 by a tycoon who wanted to make a wonderful place where learning is a game. Shortly after the school opened, his wife and daughter were kidnapped. The only real clue was a mocking riddle listing methods of murder, signed with Truly Devious. It became one of the greatest unsolved crimes in history. True crime aficionado Stevie Bell is set to begin her first year at Ellingham Academy and she has an ambitious plan. She will solve this 81-year-old case. 
but truly devious makes a surprise return and death revisits Ellingham Academy. The past has crawled out of its grave. Someone has gotten away with murder. So I just, I, this is going to be my next read I, when I finish the book I'm currently reading um, because I just, I can't wait till January to read this. It sounds so fantastic. It's a bit of a beast. Um, it's almost 500 pages long. Um, and oh, Oh, um, and as soon as I have read it, I will get a review up for you guys. Um, I think this is going to be one to watch next year because even though I haven't read it, I just think it sounds fantastic. And I know that Maureen Johnson is a great writer, so I have no doubt um, that it will be as fantastic as it sounds. So, yes, I'm so excited for that one. Okay, so next up I have one manga and then lots and lots of graphic novels. I've really been getting back into graphic novels this month. As I said before, I kind of go sort of in and out with them. Like there's times where they're all I want to read and then other times where I'm just not that bothered about them. But this month I've really been getting back into them again. So um, I'll start with the manga because as I said, there is only one of them. Um, and this is Imperfect Girl, volume one um, by, no, I'm not even gonna try and say that. Um, so that's the author there, and it was actually originally a novel that's just been made into a manga. Um, and the person that has retold it into the manga is Mitsuri Hattori. Um, it, to be honest, it doesn't really say much of what this graphic novel is, uh, this manga is about on the back. Um, literally, like, that's all it is. But I think it's about this guy who is a aspiring author and one day when he is traveling home he comes across this girl who's had an accident and he takes her to her house but all is not as it seems there um and it's only going to be a three-part manga which i quite like because i hate it i really don't like mangas where they go on and on and on forever i get really fed up with them so three volumes i can deal with the artwork is really nice and creepy and i'm very much looking forward to delving into this one um <clears throat> okay graphic novels so the first one that i got is deviations by who is this by hold on um gosh um uh, it actually doesn't say who this is by which is a bit annoying but basically in this we have four different very well known um comics and also like movies and tv programs as well so we have judge dread my little pony star trek and the x-files and basically these are like alternate stories of set in those worlds so like for example in the x-files one it's what if um Molder wasn't Molder. What if somebody else was Molder? I know it sounds a little bit weird, but it's basically just alternate realities of these very well known um, comics. And I just thought it sounded really interesting. I was very intrigued. Um, the artwork is, well, there's like lots of, I mean, look at Molder there. I mean, I had to have it just for that alone. Um, but there's lots of different art styles in here for the different comics. Um, here we go. There's Judge Dredd. Um, so I'm really intrigued by this one. It's a bit different, so, you know, I'm either going to love it or I'm going to hate it, but I'm intrigued. The next graphic novel that I picked up, um, is one of my most anticipated for this year, and this is Cast No Shadows by Nick Kaplansky and Anissa Espinosa, I think that's how you say it. Um... And I think this is about a boy, from what I can remember, this is about a boy who falls in love with a ghost. Um, but I think um, in doing so, it unleashes some kind of evil ghosts into the town that this boy lives in. And it just sounds right up my street. It's all in black and white, which I'm not that big a fan of. Um, but nonetheless, I'm very excited to read this. And it's it has such a beautiful... Um, cover and it's got like French flaps and I just think it sounds like it's going to be amazing so really looking forward to this one. Then I picked up Deep Dark Fears and The Creeps by Fran Krauss um, and basically Fran Krauss got people to 
tell him their deepest, darkest fears. They're like, their most sort of irrational, in some cases, fears. And he has put them into little comic strips. So I'll just show you some little artwork. So you have, so like for example here, you have, it says fear 23. And then one fear is written in like one um, comic strip. And then you have another fear. And it just goes all the way through the book like that. Um, so, let me just, for example, this one. So, fear number one, it says, Sometimes when I see a mirror, I press my face against it, trying to see round the corner. I'm sure there's something hiding just out of sight. Um, so, I've read both of these, and I absolutely loved them. I thought it was, I thought it was, like, it really different. That's what I liked about it. Um, some of them are quite, sort of, humorous. I found myself giggling quite a few times reading them. Others are, like, really scary, and they make you think about things that maybe you've never really thought about before. Um, but they were just, they were perfect for October. I really, really enjoyed them. And they're really nice hardbacks as well. They look really nice on my shelf. So that is those. Then I picked up, then I picked up The Bad Doctor by Ian Williams. And this is a graphic novel memoir um, about this guy, Dr. Ewan James, and his life, um, his life as being a doctor, the patients he meets, but also about his life kind of growing up and, um, like the crippling OCD that he had and how he felt like if he didn't go with his OCD, bad things would happen. Um, I have also already read this and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. The artwork is absolutely just, it's stunning, like really stunning. Again, it's all in black and white. Um, but for me, that was the way this kind of needed to be because it's kind of a... It's a very serious, I mean, there are some funny bits, um, but it is kind of a serious um, graphic novel as well. So I feel like it needed to kind of be in black and white. And I just, if you like graphic novel memoirs, I definitely recommend picking this one up. The next graphic novel that I picked up is, without a doubt, one of my favourite graphic novels that I've read this year. Um, and it is the perfect Halloween read if you can find yourself a copy and this is Behind You by Brian Coldrick. So um, Brian Coldrick he has a some kind of blog or something where he does these tiny little like one piece um, comic strips. It's basically like one picture and one bit of text and in each one of them somebody is being pursued by something behind them. Um, and you just get like a snapshot of that story and then you kind of use your brain um, and your imagination to kind of think about maybe what led up to that story, what happened after the bit that we see. It is so unique and also terrifying as well. Um, I'll just show you um, some of the artwork. So this is basically what you have. You have one picture and then one little bit of text and each page is um, a completely different picture and piece of text for a completely different story and um, let me just show you that up close there we go um, and as I said this is one of my favorite graphic novels that I've read this year it's so unique so clever and I absolutely adored it And then the last two graphic novels that I got are um, Batman Dark Victory and Batman Haunted Night by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. So I recently read um, the Long Hall Batman The Long Halloween, which is also by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, and I really, really enjoyed it. And these are the other two books in that kind of 
uh, sort of story arc. Um, so I just had to have them in my collection. Even if you're not a big superhero fan, I highly recommend p checking out these Batman ones. Um, the Long Halloween, Halloween read like a murder mystery, so if you're into that kind of thing, then you may well like it, definitely give it a go. So now on to the biggest pile of books I have, and these are all of the normal novels that I have bought this month. And I have some fantastic sounding books here. Um, and I've kind of let myself go mad this month because um, I think it's going to be the last time that I buy a lot of books for quite a while because of needing to use my money for my dental work. So I've kind of just let myself this month have whatever books I've wanted. Um, actually, that's something I should tell you guys as well. Um, this will probably be the last book haul that you see until January um, because I don't think I'm going to have enough books between now and then to actually do a book haul. Um, so if you're a fan of my book hauls, which I know quite a few of you are, then do make the most of this one. Um, so the first two books that I picked up are both by Kathy, Kathy McPhail, and these are Out of Depths and Roxy's Baby. So the book people a little while ago were doing this deal where if you spent, what was it? Like if you spent 20 pounds, you got like five pounds off or something like that. Um, and I've been hearing about Kathy McPhail's books quite a lot recently. Um, and so as soon as I saw these two on there, I just had to give them a go. So Roxy's Baby, from what I've heard, is about um, this girl who goes to live with um, this husband and wife called Mr. and Mrs. Dice. Because I think she's not having a good relationship with her mum. Um, but this couple are farming babies and it just so happens that this girl, Roxy, is pregnant. Um, so it sounds kind of creepy and also really dark as well. Um, so I'm intrigued to give this one a go. And this one is about a girl called Tyler who can see ghosts and the ghost of this boy that used to go to her school keeps appearing to her and he's basically trying to tell her something. Um, and it's about her figuring out um, who killed him, I think, um, which is exactly my kind of thing, so I'm really looking forward to these two, um, and they were super cheap, do check out the book people if you haven't, because their books are ridiculously cheaply priced, and they arrive really quickly as well. Next book I picked up, um, well, it's actually a novella, um, and this is The Murders of Molly Southbourne by Tade Thompson, look, it's so short, um, and this is obviously about a girl called Molly. And basically every time she bleeds, a new Molly is brought to life. Um, and this, the Mollies that are brought to life are evil. And their intention is to kill the actual real Molly. It sounds weird. It is weird. Um, but very unique. I've already read this and I really enjoyed it. It's definitely one of those books I think you're either going to really enjoy or you're going to hate. And you sort of, you do get to the end of it and you sort of think to yourself, what the hell did I just read? Um, but it is so creepy and I think um, it's a perfect little book to delve into for Halloween as well because you could just read this, you know, in, in one day. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend giving this one a go, but just be prepared that you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. The next book that I picked up is a non-fiction book, um, and I'm actually currently reading it, and this is True Crime Addict by James Renner. Um, so this is about James Renner and his investigation into the disappearance of a girl called Maura Murray, who went missing back in rural... Hampshire, New Hampshire? Yeah, New Hampshire in 2004. And yeah, it's just about him kind of investigating that, kind of speaking to people that knew her because there's not really a lot of answers for this case. It's it's a sort of, it's a bit of a weird case. Certain things don't add up. Um, and as I said, I'm currently reading this. I am about halfway through and it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite books of the year. It's like reading some kind of crime thriller it's just brilliant the way it's written is just so gripping if you're a fan of non-fiction or thrillers or even if you're not i would definitely recommend giving this book a go because it is completely just compelling and intriguing and once you start reading it you just you can't put it down it's fantastic this book that i picked up is viral by helen fitzgerald oh my camera's gone out of focus there we go um 
this is a psychological thriller or a thriller anyway um that i've wanted to pick up for a really long time and i've always just sort of put it off um but ebay gave me this thing recently where if i spent 20 pounds i got 10 pounds off and i ordered a, another book which was about 16 pounds which unfortunately hasn't arrived so i can't show it to you um and so i needed one just to make up for the 20 pounds so i just went for this one um and this is about a girl who goes on holiday and she ends up well she basically does this she's very drunk i think and she does sex acts on men and somebody films it and it ends up going viral and she goes missing and it's about her mother who is a um court judge trying to find her daughter but also trying to bring the men to justice that sort of took advantage of her daughter so i i'm i really like things like this um and i know i'm gonna really really enjoy it i think there was actually a case like this on the news more recently where this happened to a girl um i just oh god i can't imagine what it would be like i really can't but i'm very much looking forward to delving into this one now i finally have a copy next i picked up two stephen king books and these are both the four the fault of the lovely alex over at alex's fiction addiction um she showed them in a recent friday reads of hers and i just had to have them because for some reason i didn't have them in my stephen king collection so the first one is dream catcher i have to be honest i had never heard of this book before and i'm a big fan of stephen king as you guys know but i literally didn't know about this book um and i still don't know much about it other than it has something to do with aliens um it's a beast of a book i mean it's stephen king they're all beast books um but i'm really excited to read this one i'm excited to have found something new by him that doesn't have tons and tons of hype and things so i'm really intrigued to go into this one um and the other one i got is actually a non-fiction work of his and this is dance macabre um and this is basically him talking about horror um horror um books and films and things like that why we love it and also recommending some of his favorite creepy movies and books and things and you know you guys know that i'm a massive fan of horror so for me this was just a no-brainer when alex showed this in her video i just had to have a copy of it and i really like this edition um i managed to find this find this relatively cheap on amazon so i'm really looking forward to reading so i'm definitely going to get to this one very soon the next book that i picked up is ghosts of christmas past by tim martin and i actually pre-ordered this one um because as soon as i heard about it i just knew it was one that i was going to have to have so this is an anthology of ghost stories that are set around christmas time and there are some really amazing authors in this. You have M.R. James, Robert Ackman, Kelly Link, Neil Gaiman, E. Nesbitt, Jen Ashworth. Some amazing names. And all it says on the back is, A present contains a monstrous secret. An uninvited guest haunts a Christmas party. A shadow slips across the floor by firelight. A festive entertainment ends in darkness and screams. Who knows what haunts the night at the darkest point of the year? This collection of seasonal chillers looks beneath Christmas cheer to a world of ghosts and horrors. So I think there's some like modern day ghost stories and then like more sort of old classic ghost stories. But I do love a good ghost story so I'm very excited for this one. And I love the cover as well. Is that focusing? I don't know if that's focusing. Hold on. There we go. That's focusing now. Um... Yeah, I think this is a really nice cover. Next book that I picked up is Hollow Girl by Hilary Monaghan. So I first saw this book on the lovely Dawn Kurtigish's uh, Instagram. She got an arc of this a few months ago and she was raving about it. It's about a girl and her friend who are attacked by a group of boys one night. And her friend is basically, well, basically dies. And um, she... What, who is it that she goes to? Um, and she works for a healer. And she basically takes the body of her friend to this healer and asks um, if he can be brought back. Um, but in order for him to be brought back, this girl has to go and collect some rather um, 
grizzly things. So a fingers for touch, an eye for sight, a nose to smell the air, teeth for taste, an ear for sound, some blood, some skin, some hair. So basically, she goes around wreaking revenge on these boys and taking those things from them. So I think this sounds absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to get into it. I mean, you know, as I said, Dawn said this was fantastic and if she said that something is fantastic, then it's gonna be fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This book that I picked up is The World of Law by Aaron Mankey, I think that's how you say it. So Law is a very well-known podcast. Um, I have to admit, I've not really listened to it that much, but I think it has a lot to do with kind of urban legends and things like that. Um, and this is basically those kind of things that it talks about in the podcasts, but in book form. Um, so there's, we have like ghosts and monsters, um, here we go, it says, in this beautifully illustrated volume, the host of the hit podcast Law guides us through the fascinating history of these terrifying creatures, exploring not only the legends but what they tell us about ourselves. Aaron Mankey invites us to the desolate pine barrens of New Jersey where the notorious Jersey Devil dwells. He visits the dimly lit rooms where seances take place, the European villages where gremlins make mischief, and even the Florida home of a haunted doll named Robert. So this is basically just me in book form, and it's suddenly gone really bright. I do apologise for that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to read this one. I might, I think this is going to be one of those books where you can sort of duck in and out of it. So I think I'm going to read some of this um, on Halloween evening if I finished uh, True Crime Addict, because it sounds brilliant. The next book that I got is The Other Woman by Laura Wilson. I This is a adult psychological thriller and I picked this up after seeing Hannah Tay talking about it. Um, and it's basically this woman every year at Christmas she writes postcards to people. Because um, I think she owns a shop. So she writes these cards to her customers letting them know like how her year has been and the things that have happened to her and her family. Um, but she starts to receive letters back from somebody basically calling her a bitch and saying that she's kind of, she's showing off. <clears throat> and then one letter comes back and says that, um, she's going to know what it feels like to have everything taken from her. Basically, whoever's writing this letter is saying, I'm going to take everything from you. And this just sounds right up my street. I cannot wait to delve into this one. Um... And Hannah Tay, who doesn't usually read a lot of psychological thrillers, um, said she really enjoyed it. So that's a really good sign when someone who doesn't necessarily like that genre really likes the book. She said it was really addicting. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And the last two books I have to show you for this mammoth haul are both by the same author, and that is Harlan Coben. Um, so I have six years, which is, I'm trying to collect all of his books, because as you guys know, I love Harlan Coben. Um, and I managed to find this one that I've been looking for for a really long time on eBay for quite cheap. Um, in the exact edition that I want, because I'm trying to collect them all in the Dutton, the US Dutton editions, because they're just the nicest editions of his, um, books. And this is about a guy who, six years previous, he split up with his wife, um, and she basically married another man and then um, he sees in the paper that this guy that she married has died and so he goes along to the funeral hoping to catch a glimpse of her but nobody has heard of her and nobody has heard of Jake either um, it's kind of like she was never really there um, and I just think it sounds so intriguing and Harlan Coben's books are just so engrossing um, I love them um, and the other one that I picked up is Don't Let Go, and this is his most recent release. Um, and this is about a detective called Nap, um, whose twin brother and girlfriend um, were found dead, like, many, many years previous. And then his girlfriend's fingerprints are found in the car that belongs to a serial killer and it kind of dredges it all up again and he's basically determined to find out what really happened to his brother and his girlfriend so again i just think it's going to be totally addicting and i know once i start it i won't be able to put it down 
So that's it. That is my huge October book haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry that it was so ridiculously long. Um, but I hope you found some new books that have intrigued you. Let me know down below what new books you have bought this month. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!